Hey, I'm Jason Helmick, a PM on the PowerShell team. And did you know that the PowerShell team recently released a new tool for PowerShell called Microsoft PowerShell Crescendo? I call it Crescendo for short. Anyways, Crescendo is a solution accelerator. It lets you amplify console commands like NetSH, kubectl, ipconfig if you want, and turn them into PowerShell commandlets, receiving all of the benefits of commandlets and easing your automation. Now look, I'm putting together a short series of videos to help you get started with Crescendo and all of the documentation that we've been working on. But I wanted to start the series with why did we even make Crescendo? So Instead of just talking to you about why Crescendo and what problem it solves, hey, how about I show you? So here I am on Windows 11 and I'm gonna launch PowerShell 7 in the great Windows terminal. If you haven't used this terminal, um, this is amazing. Um, first of all, uh, so here's what I wanna do is let me go ahead and clear my screen. And what I'm gonna work with is a traditional Windows uh, console command called NetSH. Now, NetSH, all I want to do here is I want to use NetSH to turn off a firewall, do some stuff, and turn a firewall back on, and I want to put this into my automation. Now, the challenge is, is that NetSH, wow, it's, it works just fine in PowerShell. It's just, wow, this is going to be a little challenging to automate in my script. In fact, one of the other challenges is this. When I try to run this, you can see that, well, it needs administrative elevation to work. Well, if I were using Crescendo, I could take this and I could go, you know what, I want to simplify this. I'm going to call it a commandlet name. I'm going to give it a name called set-winfirewall and I'm going to give it a parameter called dash off. And I want you to notice something. I'm going to go ahead and execute this. This is a Crescendo wrapped command or an amplified command. And I want you to notice, yep, worked just fine. In other words, Crescendo can also help you deal with elevation challenges that you have with many of those administrative commands. So NetSH, I could wrap that, make it a lot easier to use in my, uh, admin, in my uh, automation, but you know what? I got a little carried away. What about ipconfig? Now, y'all have used ipconfig, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the slash all switch here. Beautiful IP config. The problem with this is, is that this contains a lot of great data that I might want to pull and use in my automation, but this outputs to strings. In other words, I can't do, let me go ahead and clear the screen and show you, I can't do what I want to do, which is IP config, select object, and grab the IPv4 address. That's not going to work. And the reason it's not going to work is because that's all string data. What would really help me a lot is if, well, I, you know what, I could, I could use Crescendo in this case and make something like get IP config. And it, with get IP config here, I got a parameter on it, dash all. You can see all that beautiful IP config information that we had before. The difference is, is that Crescendo has now turned this into an object. Yep, into an object, just like I would expect normally in PowerShell. So if I do a get IP config, and I want to, well, here, select uh, an IP4 address, it works just as I expected. So this will make it much easier in my automation to work with. Here's the important part. You can run the console command just as you normally would in PowerShell. It works just fine. But perhaps Crescendo could make your life easier and your automation easier. You get all of the great benefits that you would get with commandlets if you use Crescendo. You get things like verb dash nouns for easier naming consistency and discoverability. You can get objects as output so that you can use them in your PowerShell pipelines. And of course, it'll make life easier to automate. Since you can use those objects in a pipeline, you can then work with these commands as you would expect any other PowerShell commandlet. And with Crescendo, it makes it super easy to share. Yep, I'm gonna to get to that part, but basically, Crescendo exports a regular PowerShell module that anybody can use. But wait, there's more. Not only does this work on PowerShell 7, but here's the cool part. Remember I just said that uh, Crescendo exports a module that anybody can use? Take a look at this. This is PowerShell or Windows PowerShell 5.1. And guess what? Get dash IP config. 
and I'll just have it, uh, lo and behold, it works just fine. So whatever I generate with Crescendo will work at PowerShell 7 down level to Windows PowerShell 5.1. This really helps you out with your automation and scale, depending upon what you have installed out there on your servers. But wait, there's even one last thing. Of course, since we developed Crescendo, we also wanted to make this, hey, this is my Mac. We wanted to make it cross-platform. So let me give you a, an example. If you've worked on a Mac or Linux boxes, uh, maybe something like ifconfig you've seen before. This gives you similar information to ipconfig of, of your networking. And what I'd like to do in this uh, case is I'm going to use Crescendo to wrap this into something called invoke ifconfig. And as a matter of fact, I set up a parameter so I could specify an interface and lo and behold, it works just fine. So this was a crescendo wrapped command of ifconfig running on a Mac. The point being, this works on Mac, Linux, and Windows. So why am I using your time with this? Why is this so important? Well, new console commands get created every single day. For those teams both inside and outside of Microsoft, it's really easy to do that because it doesn't require any knowledge of PowerShell. First of all, they don't have to understand the commandlets and how they work. They don't have to understand the PowerShell pipeline. They can just make useful functionality in a console command. And keep in mind, because it's easy and they don't need PowerShell knowledge, that means it's going to be super fast for them to be able to build their functionality into their commands. And keep in mind that these commands, console commands, run just fine in PowerShell as is. So what's really the benefit here to you in being able to wrap these as, as commandlets? Well, that's just it. The benefit is to you because you get to ease your automation, make life a little bit easier, and make things more discoverable. For a PowerShell user, this might make a lot of sense for you. Now look, are there other things that you can do besides using Crescendo to achieve the same results? The answer is yes. You could rewrite the tool yourself. Just start from scratch and build the functionality yourself. You could also, if the tool uses a REST API, you could wrap that REST API. That'd be a little bit easier. You could even use something like Auto REST to do it with. But if you don't have that knowledge, then Crescendo could make this journey a lot easier for you. In fact, I've spoken with a few folks that they do have that knowledge, but they use Crescendo because, well, it makes their life easier. And well, who can complain about that? So let me show you one last thing before we end this particular video. And that is, I want you to see how, well, how I put all this together really quick. Let's go back to Windows and go back to PowerShell 7. And here's what I'd like to show you really quick. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your environment with Crescendo. But essentially, once you have Crescendo's module, all you need to do is create a very simple text file called a JSON text file. And this text file is, is really straightforward. It just has properties and values. And you can even see, and I haven't explained any of this yet, but you can even start to figure this out already. I'm setting the verb, I'm setting the noun, what platform it works on. So I can define what I'd like to see run. Once you have this configuration file, Here's how you make a module. You'll use um, a commandlet called export crescendo. Well, right here it is, export crescendo module. You'll give it that configuration file and the name of the module you'd like it to be called. If I hit enter here, which I'm not gonna do yet, um, it'll build that module. I can show you because I already have that module built that I used for this demonstration which was, see, you get a manifest, so you get a PSD1, and you get a module. And these modules, as you've seen, work down level to Windows PowerShell 5.1 and cross-platform. So if you like this idea, if you like what Crescendo can do, you're in the right place. And throughout the rest of this video series, I'll be showing you how to get started with Crescendo and make your own commandlets out of console commands. Now, in the next video in this series, I'm going to help you with your environment, getting your environment set up and ready to use Crescendo. Where's the module that you need? Where's the documentation? And some additional references to get your environment ready to go. Then we'll continue from there on building your own commandlets from console commands. Look forward to seeing you, and hey, remember, help someone.